Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by. In today's video, I'm addressing this Tecumseh engine with a start, with a run, stop, no start situation. This mower is Johnny's mower. It's his first mower. And I did a video on that before. If you like to see it, it's up above. And the situation here is, we got this mower going, used it a couple of times with no issue. Started cutting grass with it, it was running fine, then it would stop. Started it up, and it would die. Started it up, and then it would stop. The previous video, we cleaned out the fuel tank, took the carburetor apart, cleaned it all up, got it running, no issue. So when it stopped, the first thing I did was check to see if I was getting spark. I thought maybe the coil was going on this old engine. Plenty of spark. That wasn't the issue. Then I thought maybe the fuel line, it is an old fuel line, and I thought it was corroding on the, in corroding on the inside and closing up. When I took off the bowl, took off the bowl, gas came right out. That wasn't the issue. I started taking it apart again to get to the carburetor, and I thought, let me check one more thing. I disconnected the safety that's connected to the bale when you pull back. This releases the brake. And it also releases, let get around here, I don't know if it shows in here, it releases the safety that shorts out the engine. I pulled that off, put it all back together, on this engine you have to take this all off to get to it, put it all back together, started it up, ran fine. We ran it for about an hour, and to make sure it wasn't a float situation, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but this is a real sloping hill. It's hard to get with the um, tractor, and parts of it are impossible to get with the tractor. Went from here, 300 feet down to the road, to behind the house, some of the tall grass that's back there, no issue at all. So what it was, was that safety switch. I couldn't get a good look at it all the way through, but I'm assuming somewhere under there, it rub the wires rub bare, and it must, when it, on the vibrations, it must hit the engine, it shuts off. Without that safety, when you release the bill, there wasn't any way to shut this engine off. So, use the screwdriver. Use the screwdriver. This is an un this is an unsafe situation. If you should trip with this mower, trip with this mower. The mower is going to way to shut it off. Shut it off. So I do have to take and when I and when I looked at it the first, looks like I have to get under the like I have to get under the flywheel. I'm pace. If I if I get a chance on how to replace that, replace that wire underneath. Again, this was just a quick tip. If you have an engine that's conking out on you, this would be any engine, not just a decumption. If you have a tractor, a lawnmower, tiller, whatever the case may be, those safety wires, they either get chewed up sometimes by mice or the, just the vibration. It's a thin little wire. It doesn't take much to short it out. And before you start ripping everything apart, give that a check. If you found this video useful, let me know by posting your comments down below, giving it a like, and if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell not to miss any new videos that I upload. And until next time everyone, stay well.